Hello there and welcome to this Saturday morning's edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I'm Theruni Karuna Ratna. First on to your headlines. News first headline. In local news, eight Sri Lankans freed from Myanmar's cyber camp, 48 more await rescue. Heavy security for Easter Sunday, over 10,000 officers deployed around churches in Sri Lanka. 25 more train journeys cancelled today due to maintenance. In news overseas, huge crane ready to clear Baltimore Bridge debris. And in sports, ruthless Sinner motors passed Medvedev into Miami final. On to those stories in detail now, Sri Lankan ambassador to Myanmar, Jonaka Bandara, says that police investigations regarding the eight Sri Lankans who were rescued from a Myanmar cyber slavery camp have been concluded. He said that steps are being taken to repatriate them as soon as possible. The ambassador added that the 48 other Sri Lankans who are still being held captive by the group of terrorists will be released soon. Now, News First made a startling revelation regarding 56 Sri Lankan youth being held captive in an area along the Thai border in Myanmar, ruled by an armed group and are being forced to commit various cyber crimes. They had been lured to Myanmar with the promise of being given jobs related to the IT sector. Police spokesman DIG Nihal Taldua says that a special security program is being implemented around Catholic churches on occasion of Easter Sunday. He said that nearly 6,837 police officers, 470 police special task force officers and nearly 2,900 officers of the armed forces will be deployed for security purposes. The police spokesman also requests the general public to call 118, 119 or 1927 if there is anything to be notified. Still in local news, the Department of Railways says that about 25 train journeys may be cancelled on the coastal line today as well. This is due to a maintenance activity being carried out along the railway line between Vallavatta and Colombo Fort. The maintenance activities on the railway line towards Gaul, which commenced yesterday, will be carried out today and tomorrow. Due to this, 25 train journeys on the coastal line were cancelled yesterday as well. Up next is international news. International News. The largest crane on the U.S. eastern seaboard readied Friday to begin salvage work to clear Baltimore Harbor after a cargo ship crashed into a major bridge, causing it to collapse. Vessel traffic through the busy port of Baltimore has been suspended indefinitely since the accident brought down the Francis Scott Key Bridge in stunning speed, claiming the lives of six men working on a pothole repair team. Road traffic has also been impacted with thousands of motorists each day being diverted to an already congested tunnel under the city. Coming up next is Sports News. Sports News. Now, Yannick Sinner continued his domination of Daniel Medvedev as he powered past the defending Miami Open champion 6-1-6-2 on Friday to reach the final for the second straight year. When Medvedev beat Sinner to claim the Miami title 12 months ago, he extended his head-to-head -head record over the Italian to 6-0. But since then, the second seed has enjoyed the upper hand as he has delivered the knockout blow on five successive contests, including a five-set thriller in the Australian Open final earlier this year. And that's a wrap of this edition of Yours 101's Visual Radio. For the News First team, I'm Theruni Karna Ratna. Thank you for watching.